Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to be talking about a lady who said she didn't get enough money. <sighs> she didn't get enough time off to be with her kids. Let's get to the video. <laughs> I've, I've just received the email in regards to me requesting some time off, and I've noticed that you've reje rejected my request. Um, I was wondering if there's any way we could just have a bit of a chat about it, really, and see if there's any kind of compromise with the request. It's just, I'm really, I know I left it really last minute to put in the request, but um, I'm struggling a lot at home and um, I just, I can't afford to get a childminder for all the days. So if I could just take maybe three days a week at home and um, work from home, um, at least. You are asking for the six weeks, aren't you, Marilyn? It's quite a long time really for me to fill. I have tried. That's crazy, six weeks? Hey, here's something I want to say before we even begin that. Listen, I do not like people who try to call out their companies to be like, I'm trying to be home with my kids. I'm trying to do all these things. That is a sacrifice that unfortunately we all have to make, right? If you, if, if you are a single mother, I am sorry. I I mean, if it for good reasoning, uh, but being a single mother, being a single father, it's part of the life. You know, it's hard for you to have a job, but also expect the job to just be like, oh, yep, you can do whatever you want, you know? So already I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not feeling too sorry for her, but let's continue. Very hard. I've been sat at the computer trying to judge every, just move everybody around and I'm really, really struggling. Um, I think it's a no, I'm really sorry. But please, just, I've got like two kids. And she I said no. She said I tried. This is called a request, not a demand. What do you want me to do? You're going to have to get a different job then, baby. I'm sorry. Like, what, what do you want me to do? I, I, I got to run a company here, too. I got things to do here, too. That's all I'm saying. But let's hear her out. Speaking of hearing people out, how about you listen to my voice right now? C click that like. Click that subscribe if you want to. If not, ignore what I just said. Close your ears. I can't afford the child mind and my husband, he's working as much as he can and it's just a really tough time at the moment and why it's literally really? just... I don't know if this is a joke, but why would you put this on camera? Why are you filming this? <laughs> it's so weird. It's just a few days, maybe just a few days then where I can just work from home. I understand what you're saying, but we do have to run this business as a business and not a charity and it's very difficult for us we've tried very hard to accommodate you but you do keep doing this to us emma is struggling to juggle raising her children oh she keeps doing it to them hmm so this sounds like a person who uh, and once again somebody who films this stuff and i know people do skits and everything and i really get tired of having to say that but i'm going to treat it like it's real what are you trying to do? You try to put your employer on blast? Do you think that's what's going to help? Because if I were the employer and I found out you put this out, a private conversation is supposed to be between me and you? Oh, you're done. You might as well just go ahead and hang it up. Game over. It's like, I can't trust you as a person. If any time I try to talk to you in private and try to accommodate you, the first thing you're going to do is then put me on blast on the camera? What? ...and working full time. So has requested some help from her boss. And to be honest, other people put their requests Yes, what about the other people? What about other people? I'm sorry. You're looking too high. Too high. I know, but I've, spoke, and I've spoken to a few other people from the office, and you know, they don't have kids. And they have, they've said if you, you agree with it, then they will take those days um, and like they'll come into the office and let me have the, the, a few days at home at least. You know, you know, despite Emma's best efforts. You know, to be honest with you, I know I'm going to quit pausing. Let me shut up. But I want to say this. To be honest with you, if you're struggling now, you're going to be struggling later. That's what I'm also thinking the boss is thinking. Like if you're struggling today, you're saying just a few days, it's going to be just a few days next week it's gonna be just a few days a month from now like if you can't afford a child minder right now then you're not going to be able to afford a child minder a couple months from now it's just like it's just a matter of time it's like it's just it's gonna catch up to you it's gonna bury you and if you can't do it now you're not gonna be able to do it later i you got to see into the future a little bit it's like how how is next week gonna do anything better than this week you know her boss linda explains the issue she has with that request it's a lot of paperwork and um, i've set everything out now and i've been doing it for hours and hours and i just i really feel that you do keep asking and you're See? asking oh, shut up, Jerry, shut up. yeah but come on you have children you know how difficult it is oh, to bring 
You're not gonna do me like that. Sorry. Uh uh. Uh uh. Don't talk about my family. Like, don't don't look at anything I'm doing over here. Don't worry about what I got going over here, baby. Don't worry about if I got people take care of my kids. That's not in your concern. See, that's what I'm saying. You put this woman on blast. You gonna be talking about her kids to her face? With children. Yeah, don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about how I'm living over here. Don't be talking about my kids. You don't know. Please, just be a bit compassionate. Just a couple of days. I'm hanging up after that. Getting increasingly upset, Emma pleads once more, reasoning with Linda that her work will still be completed if she's at home. What if someone agrees? What if I get a member of staff that, that, that have agreed already, I've spoken to them, and they've said that they're gonna, they can help me out, you know, the, the, the work's still getting covered. Even if I'm at home, the work's getting covered. I don't understand what the, the big issue is, whether I'm doing this. Because everybody's going to do that. If they let you do it, everybody's going to do it. She keeps saying, I've talked to other people, but guess what they're going to say one day? Hey, I've talked to the other people. And they said, and they, guess what those people are going to say? Hey, I've talked to other people. And they said they would work at home or in the office. Why do you need me? We have decided if you could just calm down a little bit, but we're not really going to be doing any actual work. Just calm down a little bit. We just feel that everybody's putting their washing on. <laughs> you know, I don't. Okay, so it's fine, it's fine. Just Linda, I'll, I'll, I'll just sort it out myself. Thank you, catch you, Thank you, bye. We hope the two were able to come to an understanding in the end. Such a difficult situation. Well, how did you but feel on that? the subject of working. Shout out to Ultimate. From home. Did you know that people are apparently 87% more likely to love their jobs if they do so? How, out of how, anyway, 87% of people, people would love their job if it was from home. Are you, so is that assuming that 87% of jobs could be from home? That means you're only asking people that could work from home. Because what if you work on roofs? You can't do that from your house. If you work construction, you can't do that from your house. If you work in an oil field, you can't do that from your house. You know, so you must be asking people that only have jobs that could possibly like call centers. Anyway, let me get off that. <coughs> hey, uh. One, I, like I said, I don't know why you would ever film something like this, but let's, for the sake of argument, let's pretend everything is real, and let's pretend this was not a skit, let's pretend this wasn't a joke, let's just pretend it's real, let's just have a little fun. Can we do that for once? Can we do that? Listen. <laughs> uh, man, if, if you want to take some time off, if you truly want to do that and life is getting hard for you, I get it. And, or if you're just wanting to work from home. But what it sounds like to me is that she was working from home and they ask everybody to come back to the office, which has happened at a lot of companies. Some companies still do work from home so they can provide more space for people to work at the job. Right. I know a company that does that where they have people work from home, but they do that so they can have more people work at the office that need extra help. So you can hire almost twice as many employees. Because you have work from home and you have people who don't work from home and only your top employees can work from home because, you know, they'll do their job. Right. So anyway. But anyway, so the company tells her, you know, she got to work there. We're no longer doing the work from home. We need you to be at work. That is just how it's going to have to be. And I don't like how she was saying that you're being patronizing and all this. It doesn't sound like she has a good relationship with her boss. So my suggestion would be is if this doesn't work and you're trying to work from home, it won't work out anymore. Get another job. Man, guys, and I know I'm making it. I'm sounding so insensitive because I'm like, what if she can? You know, it's how hard it is to get another job, guys. That sometimes it's just like, what else can you do? I mean, it's just this world is not made to cater to our every problem and every whim. You don't think all of us have had? Have you ever had problems and you still have to go to work regardless? You don't think I've had problems that I have to go to work regardless? You don't think I've had stuff I have to do? Some of us deal with mental health. Some of us deal with sickness. Some of us deal with these things. But we got to show up to work the best that we can. I'm not saying show up to work sick. But I am saying that there is times that our body feels weak. We're not necessarily sick, but you're just mentally exhausted or you're tired or you're just life has to keep going. You're still dealing with family life. You might be dealing with other stuff that has happened but you got to keep showing up to work because you have to pay the bills uh, we all know our landlords don't give a damn how we feel that rent better be paid it better be paid on time you know so it's just like i i don't feel sorry for the lady i'm being honest just to base off of her filming it a private conversation and the way she was talking 
I don't believe in her. I have no sympathy for her. She does have a husband. Uh, so y'all can just try to figure and make it work out. But I mean, at the end of the day, life is hard and you can't force companies to do whatever you want them to do just because you're struggling. Everybody struggles. It's life. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out. Peace.